Opera's return to the stage. <laughs> Yay, I know. <laughs> I'm Melinda Brew, I'm the director of the opera program at Texas A&M University Kingsville. And um, we are thrilled that a, a few of close family and friends are here with us. And we are thrilled for those of you joining us in our first ever live stream. Um, please silence all of your devices if you are in the um, in-person audience. If you're at home, do as you please. Um, <laughs> be aware that we are live streaming, so please don't leave. In case of emergency, kind of keep low and go to the sides, but please, shows are short, they're about 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, so just stay. Also, please keep any talking down because we have we are mic'd up to the gills all around here. At the end of the show, the students, they'll do their final bows, and then they'll come here and they'll greet you, but they'll also be available to go into the lobby just so we can keep kind of spaced out and not crowded due to COVID safety protocols. Um, please stay as distant as possible and keep your masks on throughout the show and as you're greeting students. I do want to let you know that in our second show, it's a drama, and there is, at the very end of the show, there is a gun that is brandished. It is a fake gun. It was $6 from Amazon. <laughs> it is a cap gun. There are no caps in it even, but for safety protocol, I wanted to let you know that that will happen. It won't go off. Um, finally, Please applaud, cheer loud here and at home. Send all of your love to these wonderful students because they have worked really hard. Enjoy the evening. Thank you.
only it was so easy. At this hour, who in position can that be?
never be. What will they say when they see us together? I'd be on one side of a table, you'd be on the other. We'd smile all and say good morning, then we'd read the Sunday paper. And after a spot of toast and jam, we'd have a It is getting very late. I'm sick of time. Try to act like you wouldn't take 
figure on the page, the Adonis of the guilty days. Oh, how lovely you'd look on the cover, and what a sort for a beautiful day. There's no reason to be embarrassed, there's no reason to feel so ashamed. It's not like you're being accused or insulted or slandered or somehow defamed. And it just made it through your chances, all the pain in the post you desire. For when a push comes, how shall you know folks turn to fame and the fellow whose photo they all can't admire? On the cover, on the cover, you'd be topical and ripe with your Without soiling her name, how will 
Mr. Poycom, after all that has happened. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs>
weren't expecting to have visitors today. I bring brave news, Sherlock. Major Blake has been murdered. Your friend from the military. Yes, the family's hosting a seance tonight. A seance? How foolish. I cannot believe it, Watson. That business is full of frauds. Come now, Sherlock. They only want closure. Neither the time nor place for your method. Whatever you say, Watson, I'll try to be on my best behavior, but I make no promises. Sherlock, I'm serious. Watson, you made it. It I wouldn't miss it for the world. Your father was a dear friend of mine. Sherlock, I'd like you to meet the family. This is Jasper and Ada, the children of Major Blake and Constance. Watson, why is he here? Why have you brought this man with you? Sherlock is no stranger to murder. I thought it had he come along. If we'd wanted your methods, we'd have come to you for help. I beg your pardon, 
But you seem quite nervous of my presence. Perhaps one of you is the murderer, the willing perpetrator of this crime. Was it you, Adolf? Could it be you, Jasper? Or maybe even Constance?
with the plight. The younger son had died from a sickness with all his heart. They tried to say goodbye, but he already gave up the fight.
Constance. Jasper, you have yet to present me with an alibi. Where were you? I was at home, Sherlock. I was tired from a long day at work. Can someone attest to the fact that you were indeed at home? No. I suppose not, Sherlock, but why would I stab my father? What do you mean, Jasper? How could you know how he died? My father couldn't hurt a fly. What's it? It was that hole who killed it. my father. I'm innocent, Sherlock. I'm innocent, Mr. Holmes. Please believe me, I would I kill him, Mr. Holmes. I would I kill him, can't you see? My heart is breaking for the murderer. He was taken from me.
I have to, that money will be mine. I should have known, Sherlock, that you discover my crime. I was so careful, and yet you. Sherlock, 